So why is 816 fasting good for your health? If you've been with me a while, you know I'm a huge fan of intermittent fasting. In fact, during certain parts of the year, I eat all my calories during a two-hour window and fast the other two hours of the day. It works for me for the last 12 years, but it doesn't work for everyone, which is where the 816 method comes in. If you're doing 816 fasting, here's how it works. One, you eat all your calories during an eight-hour window, say 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The rest of the time, you simply don't eat or drink any calories, though water, unsweetened tea, and black coffee are fine. It's that simple, and it's amazing for your health. Why? Well, because intermittent fasting is how your ancestors evolved to eat. No, not on a precise clock like this plan, but based on when they found food. It's not like the hunter-gatherers of the past always found two eggs for breakfast, after all. No, sometimes they'd have a wild boar to feast on, other times they'd go days without meals. That's how your body evolved. Now, I would never tell you to go days without eating without supervision, but keeping your body guessing a little is a great way to optimize your health. In fact, a recent study looked at intermittent fasting and people with type 2 diabetes. The results of the study showed about a 15-pound weight loss in about a three-month time period. Why? Well, if you are restricting the time you're going to eat food, you're going to restrict calories you eat, too, because it's virtually impossible to cram a lot of calories into a small amount of time. Plus, even if your stomach growls a little bit at first, it takes some getting used to after all, your body knows how to handle a little hunger and you'll be okay. In fact, I tell my patients, embrace the hunger. So, with all the fasting methods out there, why 816? Well, it's not that it's better than any of the other methods, but for a lot of people, it's easier. Because if you can still eat lunch with your coworkers and dinner with your family, you're less likely to feel deprived. And when you don't feel deprived, you're more likely to stick with the plan. That's why I'm a big fan of 816 fasting for a lot of my patients. It's sustainable no matter what your lifestyle is, and ultimately, your health is my number one concern. So, I suggest picking a couple of weeks that work for you and committing to 816 fasting. Just schedule it so that you can enjoy the meal that's most important to you and your family. That way, you can live your life and enjoy lasting health too.